Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to go over why I think NS2 is going in the wrong direction, um, why I think that NS1 was obviously a superior game at the moment because NS2 is horribly unpolished and unbalanced and, you know, incomplete, but why uh, NS2 in its future is probably going to be a worse game than NS1. Now, granted, NS1 had years and years and years of balance and and patches and all and all that good stuff um, which NS2 obviously lacks right now but the fact is NS2 is built off the same principles as NS1 you've got your hive um, aliens can re can get second third fourth hives which you know there was no fourth hive in NS1 but the basic concept is still the same they get more hives they get more stuff um, and they need to get more hives to win the game Marines, on the other hand, need to stop the aliens from getting second hives and third hives and so on and shut them down through tech of their own. Um, so I'm going to go through and talk about exactly what I think needs to be changed. Um, now keep in mind that I don't have any solutions to the problems. I only present the problems to the developers and players to consider and you know either find solutions or remove themselves. Um, so, before I begin, the uh, footage in the back is just some random game. I have no idea what it's from. So like I said before, NS2 is way too similar to NS1 at its core. Um, and the biggest problem right now with what the devs are trying to do is they're trying really, really, really hard to separate it from NS1. And the biggest change they've made in my opinion, is the uh, power core and infestation change, which is obviously like the Zerg creep and the uh, Protoss pylons from StarCraft. Uh, and all they do, all they serve, in my opinion, is just slowing the game down in that is, well, just like NS1, only um, instead of uh, speeding the game up like they did in 2.0, 3.0, and 3.1, 3.2, they're slowing the game way, way down, and I, I cannot understand this because I don't think anyone wants those, you know, two-hour matches where people are turtling in their bases and people are going back and forth and pushing hives and so-and-so was too hard to push and stuff was too hard to kill, but as of right now, um, the power cores and the uh, infestation just really just slow down gameplay. I think the biggest problem with this, these two mechanics is that neither one is particularly fun. Um, power cores are just something extra that you gotta stand there and build and it takes forever. You can't really get max over there to build them unless you escort them, which it, it's not really fun because the pathing is not too great. And even if it ever is great, you know, standing around watching AI build something isn't too fun anyway. I have the same issue with dynamic infestation because I really feel like it doesn't add anything into the game. Um, it's only there, like I said before, to extend the uh, length of a game. Um, because, you know, like I said, aliens don't really build anything new. They just have to build on creep which slows everything down now to explain why the second issue i find to be ridiculous um why it's bad uh i have to explain how ns1 worked now in ns1 aliens the goal of aliens obviously like i said before was to get a second hive up so they could get their second abilities and get the next upgrade whatever it was whatever the next chamber was in this game it's no different um they're they've got to get a second hive up to get a fade it's even weaker though because they can't get a fade up until that second hive whereas an ns1 right when the first hive was going up you'd get a fade out to be able to defend it um this in ns1 marines goals were to stop the second hive from going up um, that was their only goal at the starting of the game. Aliens were playing a defensive position until that second hive was up by stopping them from killing their resource towers and chambers and all that. Um, Marines have such a huge 
gain on aliens now early game because of the personal resource model and that's my second big problem with NS2 that aliens in in higher tier games are going to have much harder problems defending from marines and what I mean by that right now is that basically every marine from the starting can pick up a shotgun and go and kill anything that aliens drop um, now in NS1 if you know you had a you know this was a public game and you had a marine commander drop a bunch of shotguns for marines early on the game was basically over because of the skill differences you had people absolutely getting raped with nothing that they could do against the marines team full of shock because NS2 is so similar to NS1 with almost the same entire same gameplay structure um, and flow of the game uh, marines have way too much of an advantage over aliens because of the personal resource structure um, shotguns absolutely demolish skulks they kill lurks they kill gorges there's nothing that can stop them um, the only reason that these, this personal resource model right now is working is because there's really no one good playing NS2. Um, and I think that once the better players, the players from NS1, start playing NS2 again, um, you're going to find a lot of aliens complaining about shotguns and you get nerfed. And I don't think there's ever going to be a solution besides just take the personal resource model out of the game. Again, like I said, aliens need to be able to fade before the second hive is up, otherwise they can't defend against the shotguns, and even still, um, four marines with shotguns will trump any fade, because it, it was simply wasn't possible in NS1 to drop four shotguns without sacrificing a bunch of other stuff. Um, at, at the moment, you're able to not only get all the tech you could in NS1 by sacrificing shotguns, but you're also able to get heavy weapons too. You're able to get shotguns for every player on the marine team. So there will never be any kind of balance with this resource model in NS2 unless some extreme changes are made. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, those are my biggest issues with NS2. And I really hope the developers don't see it as something that they have to keep in the game just because it was listed on the features page. Um, it's something that will, I, I don't think will ever be quite as balanced as NS1 if it, if it stays in the game. And I hope that's not something that uh, the developers find okay. I, I, I just really hope all these dynamic infestation and uh, power node changes can be reimagined into something that doesn't slow the game down this much. Um, like I said, I have no solutions, so that's it. Um, I'm going to leave this game on for a little bit longer until it gets to 10 minutes. And I will hopefully be making some tutorial videos in the future. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks.